Hi, this is Dr. Weichel, and I wanted to explain to you this activity, Java Interfaces and UML, that we handed out on the Friday before spring break. So first, let's look at this UML and understand it. Here in the center, we have an abstract class named Ball. We can tell it's abstract because it's in italics, and also a method, the abstract method in particular, is also in italics. Note that on anything we ask you to write, if you need to indicate that something's in italics and you think we won't recognize it in your handwriting, just circle it or put an arrow and say italics, either one. So we also, in this UML, have an interface. And notice that's indicated by the word interface with greater than, two on e and less than symbols, two on each side. This one is named tossable. Usually interfaces are some kind of able, like comparable is an example in Java API. Um, and this interface has one method named toss. So it's just a simple example to get us working on this. Notice here that both rock and ball implement tossable, and that's the keyword that you'll use in the header of the interface. And notice that it's indicated in a UML with dotted lines and an open arrowhead. Then you'll also see that here, just like we've been using inheritance in before spring break, that these solid lines indicate that baseball and football extend ball and that they both, um, so baseball is a ball and football is a ball. It ha they have that relationship. You'll notice that rock does not have any relationship with ball, baseball, or football, other than that they all implement this interface tossable. So let's look at this table we want you to fill out. We want you to put a check if an object of the indicated type could be stored in a variable of the indicated type. And so in particular, we want you to put a check if the, an object of this type can be stored in a variable of one of these types, okay? And an X if it cannot. And then if you can't instantiate an object of the indicated type, i.e. if you can't say new, one of these things, new tossable, new ball, new rock, etc., then we want you to put a dash. So let's do this first and think about, in this UML, what can we not instantiate? Well, we cannot instantiate things that don't have the actual code inside them normally. So we cannot instantiate or create or say new tossable because it's an interface. We cannot say new ball because it's an abstract class. So we, since we're creating objects of this type here, right, for all of these, we cannot instantiate tossable. It doesn't matter what kind of variable we try to put it in because it's an interface. We cannot instantiate ball. It doesn't matter what variable type we want to put it in because it is an abstract class. All right, so now let's look at this cell and see what it means to fill out this cell. So the question we're asking you, we want you to put a check for yes, an X for no. If we can say here, declare a variable of this type. So can we say ball, new ball, um, I'm sorry, ball, my ball, because I want a variable. Ball, my ball equals new, and then the object type of baseball baseball, and this is calling the constructor, remember, so that's why we put these parentheses at the end. And so this cell is asking, can we write this statement and have it work correctly? So the idea is, can I say new baseball and put it in my ball? And I can because baseball is a ball, so I'll put a check mark here. Okay, so let's go through the rest of these fairly quickly. Can I say new rock and put it in tossable? Yes, it, in, it implements the interface tossable, so I can. Now here, it might not be quite as obvious. Baseball does implement toss because it extends ball, which implements toss. Okay, and the same with football. So I can say new baseball and put it into tossable. New football, put it into tossable. Can I say new rock and put it into a ball? No, they don't have that relationship. Can I say new rock and put it in a rock? Yes, that's what we would expect, and that's kind of the normal thing. Can I say new rock and put it in a baseball? No, and I can't do that with put it in a football variable either. Can I say new baseball and put it in a rock variable? 
No. Can I say new baseball and put it in baseball? Yes, that's what we expect, right? Can I say new baseball and put it in a football? No. They both implement, I mean, they both extend ball, but they don't have a relationship like that with each other. A football is not a baseball, all right? So can we say new football and put it in a ball? Yes. New football, put it in a rock? No. New football and put it in a baseball? No. New football and put it in a football? Yes. So that's how you fill out that table. I hope that made sense. The answers to the rest of the questions on this activity should be in your Canvas, the Canvas site with your professor. Feel free to give, uh, give us an email or send us a note or talk to the TAs if you have any questions about this example. See you next time.